Hi, I'm Slavic with HydrainCoffee.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to drain a heat exchanger boiler. There are a number of reasons why you may want to drain your boiler. For example, if you want to transport the machine, if you want to send it somewhere, it's important that there's no water inside the boiler, especially in the winter, because it could freeze. And freezing does serious damage to your machine, which of course you want to prevent. Another reason you may want to drain your boiler is if you're going to store your machine. If you're storing your machine for a longer period of time, it's also important to drain your boiler to prevent any scale buildup. I'm going to demonstrate two different methods of draining your boiler. The first is the simple method that works in most cases. If your machine heats up and uh, builds pressure, then you can do this. I'm using a Rocket Giotto machine here for demonstration, but this method will work with any heat exchanger uh, E61 machine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this machine is hot, so you want it to build up pressure. It's at full pressure. I'm going to actually turn it off. And I'm just going to open the hot water tap and drain all of the water inside there. We'll just wait for the machine to stop sizzling. Uh, that's uh, most of the water uh, that's inside the steam boiler. It's nice and easy. And we'll just let it stop there. Now, if you're transporting the machine, I recommend leaving the steam tap open. Uh, during transport, just leaving it like that. With the machine still hot, we'll want to just get any excess water that's inside the group out. And the way you do that is by lifting the lever uh, and uh, some water may trickle out into the, uh, you know, into your container. I also suggest shipping the machine if you are shipping it with the lever in the top position, so uh, open. Uh, that way, if there's any water left over, if it does freeze, it has room to expand. The second method of draining your heat exchanger boiler is a little bit more involved. It requires opening the machine up and you only want to do this with the machine off and cold. Make sure it's unplugged and that the machine is fully cooled down because you don't want to burn yourself. Now I've removed the screws from this machine. This is a Rocket Giotto. I just take off the top, exposing the boiler and we're going to be siphoning water through the safety valve. So this is the top of the boiler, and I'm going to be removing one of these valves. I'm going to use the safety valve, so I'm going to take this hose off of it. This is the safety valve right here. And I'm using a 21 millimeter wrench for this one, and basically I just want to loosen that and remove it to get access to the boiler. See, we have a nice large opening to the boiler, and in the next step, I'm going to be siphoning out water. Now what you'll want to do is insert a uh, flexible thin hose inside here. I've got this silicone hose and I'm going to push it all the way to the, to the bottom. Uh, the heat exchanger might be in the way, so you just want to make sure that, that you're at, at, at the bottom of the boiler. Now with the tube inserted, we're going to want to create a siphon. And the way we do that is uh, we I'm going to draw on this a little bit and then you want to make sure it's low uh, so gravity does, uh, well, so gravity helps you. See, and with uh, the water is now flowing and uh, this will pull all the water out of the boiler. Uh, it just takes maybe about, uh, about a minute, minute and a half to drain the full boiler. Once this stops, uh, you're ready to go. The wonders of physics. The siphoning method also works with your neighbor's gas tank if you're a little short on gas. Of course, you'll also want to lift the lever into the top position. I'm not going to get any water coming out because uh, the machine's not hot, there's no pressure, but I do recommend shipping it in the open position. And also, we'll put that uh, safety valve back into place uh, for shipping purposes. So there you have it, two different methods of draining your heat exchanger boiler. The siphoning method, of course, will work on any boiler that has, a, that has access to it. So you'll have to remove a valve or a connection. Uh, it works on single boilers and double boiler methods as well. Uh, actually, when machines have solenoid valves to deliver coffee, that's really the only way of, of getting the boiler empty. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out, ask us for help. We're always happy to offer it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.